What is up friends, it's your boy Osha again back for another video and for this one, yes, okay, I've been wanting to do this ever since it dropped, yeah, it's been like 30, almost 30 I think, yeah, 30, wow, took me a long time to prepare, but this is Dreamcatcher's new song um, titled Odd Eye, which I know, I've had like this sensation with Dreamcatcher ever since Boca, and not just because of the fact that that video was also um highly praised by a lot but it's because that time that really wanted me to reevaluate how i see um k-pop music because not everything feels as if they're the same i mean yeah sure there are a lot of k-pop songs that are totally different but dreamcatcher has a very different um style and i'm really loving that so yeah it made me want to listen to all of their songs again and then there I go. I said Dreamcatcher is going to be the fifth one on my spot. You're going to be thinking, I'm a mid-Z, yet I didn't react to the Zabeto Not Shy MV. But then I react to this. Well, first of all, I love it, see? It's just that I don't like Zabeto. And I never reacted to Blackpink's Zabeto version as well of Ice Cream. And there's no way I'm going to react to Zepeto's version of Not Shy, okay? I mean, I don't like seeing my girlies in Zepeto version. If I want to see my girlies, I'd rather see them full on screen. So yeah, Dreamcatcher though, let's watch it. Go. I have a lot of stuff like in prepared with Dreamcatcher content and stuff like that. I really want to talk more about them. But yeah, let's go with this. Wait, do I have an Oh my god, it's in 4K. Damn, okay. Oh. Okay. Oof. Straight away, this is a lot different from Boca. Okay, maybe not all too different from Boca. Mm hmm. Oh shit! Oh my god, I, I, I better calm myself. Oh ho! Okay! Oh my. Wait, sorry, I know. Woo hoo! Oh, there she is! Oh my god, my absolute crush. Why? I I'm gonna have something. I I I'll refer to something over there. Ooh! Dami's style over in this MV though. This is very, very cool. Okay, I mean, she was cool in Boca, but... Wow! She's a badass on this one. I still have to know all the other members though, okay? I, I, I basically just know a few of them. Oh my god, she's doing a Cleopatra on... No, not really Cleopatra. I'm not sure. Okay, it might be the mummy that they're referring to. Oh, Gaian though. Oh. Oh god, this is so goddamn awesome. <laughs> I'm definitely... Oh my damn. Oh my god, I can't, I can't handle this C Yondo, shit. Oof. Oh god. Mm. This is visually appealing, okay? I mean, Boca... I, I could say it was visually appealing as well, but this is a lot more. This is, I get, I'm actually getting kind of like Espa vibes from the visuals over this of, on this one. Oh wait, I know it's supposed to be a clean run, but I have to repeat that. I really have to repeat that. I wasn't paying too much attention. I was. Mm. <laughs> Woohoo! Okay, but yeah, as I said, 
really reminds me a lot of Espa's MV, but this is uh, actually a lot edgier than um, Espa's Black Mamba. Um, both in song and in the MV as well. Uh, but the song is entirely different. It's not totally rem reminiscent of Black Mamba. Dreamcatcher is going to find the Utopia. That... No, 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 not Godzilla for <laughs> I know I love Godzilla, but no, no, not for now. So yeah, first impressions, wow, that MV was so visually appealing. Um, it, I would say that the MV in this one is a standout compared to Boca's MV, but um, Boca overall still feels a lot more personal. Um, I, I'm pretty sure this one is too, but for me, I'm still on the side with Boca, just because of the fact that when the chorus hit, it was really, really hard. And um, there's something a lot, I mean, it feels a lot more personal, to be honest. This one, although it's not, I, I don't get the same feeling, this still packs a punch. And um, really though, I'm just curious as to what the message is. I'm really curious as to why they called it the Ada. It's probably something that would involve, I mean, last one was Boca. It's supposed to be involving the mouth. And Ada would probably be, uh, if I were to think of something before I head into the lyrics, being blind, not literally, but figuratively, you know, being blind in everything that you're seeing or and everything that's what what's happening. Um, maybe that's something. But overall, shit. And also, Sion's hair. Sion's hair, see only the short hair. I never thought I would see her in short hair one day, although I haven't watched every single Dreamcatcher video in, like, ever. But seeing with the short hair... Oh, shit. Wow. <laughs> but yeah, let's go with the lyrics and also some of the visuals that I probably have missed out. Um, seeing with the short hair, I cannot stop talking about it, but kind of feels like Ryujin with the short hair. And yeah, they both fit with the short hair as well. Oh, this one though, everything about this scene is so perfect. The way that her hair is kind of like in contrast with the background. I know the background feels black, but in, well, as to what I see, it's not entirely black. It's more of black with this purple accent in between. I'm not sure if it's physically visible in the recording, but based on what I see, if you have to watch the MV f for you to get what I mean, go watch it. If you don't have to watch the MV to get what I mean, still watch the MV, okay? <laughs> Got it! Um, but yeah, this is what I'm getting here. And yeah, of course, the white makeup and the red um, goes well with the other colors. Yeah, this is white. Uh, the red is actually kind of like an accent over here, but mainly these two compared to this fits so goddamn well. And it really helps because it's in 4K. <laughs> I love that they uploaded this in 4K. I mean, I have to point this out. Chongha's MVs, I love them so much. But for some reason, they don't upload in 4K. Which I'm really, really confused as to why. So yeah, um, this one I'm glad that it is 4K. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Okay. Wow, their lyrics are so goddamn complex. Mm -hmm. <laughs> when this pre chorus starts, though, like. Oh, goddamn, everything starts to be so goddamn aggressive. Mm hmm. Cut off card this one. Oh, okay. Okay, so if uh, I think I got the sense of it, since they're building a storyline, if I remember correctly, that's what I've been told. Um, and yeah, as I've seen in the end, they didn't find, sorry, the utopia they've been looking for. So yeah, all hope was lost. I think it's something on those words. But yeah, if I have to 
um, get the meaning of Adai, this is about deception and false hope. And what effects it has on the victims of it. This is the thing I love about Dreamcatcher songs. There's, they're always, so yeah, it's, it's not easy to understand them at first because they have really, really complex lyrics. But um, their, their meanings are really so deep. It's kind of like this. If you're going to play a video game, it could either be linear or open world. Um, yeah, sure, open world games are so abundant nowadays and they're all just copy and paste. But there are open world games that are so rich in content. And this is like the same with Dreamcatcher. It's not always linear. You always get a full experience when you try to go deeper, when you try to um, explore each area of the song. Not just the song, the lyrics, not just the lyrics, the MV. And yes, this is the thing I love about Dreamcatcher. Odd Eye, it all fits into perfectly. If I'm wrong, just post it in the comment section below if... Uh, you have your own opinion about what the song actually is or what it means. But for me, it's just what I'm getting at. And I think it's close to what it is about, okay? But yeah, I gotta repeat the chorus though. Dami in this one though. I mean, I love her purple hair. But she's like a total badass in this one. Uh, let's look at them oh, with Sion first. Okay, Sion's there. Oh my god! <laughs> Woo! I love how it the chorus ends as no more utopia. I because this this thing is the story storyline they they've been building on since like I, I'm not sure when was the era that they started the storyline, but yeah. Look at Dami over here though. Oh shit. She's like a total badass. And it, it, it's really funny because I've watched the Abracadabra cover that they've had recently. And Dami really feels like a pure soul in that one. But yeah, she can be savage whenever she wants to. This one. I really love the look from this one. I'm not sure if that's... I, I'm, I don't think it's Sion though. I'm pretty sure it's a different member. But I love her look so much. So, uh, it's really... I, I remember the mummy. But at the same time, it feels like Cleopa uh, Cleopatra though. See, those lyrics clearly states a false hope to them. So yeah, I I'm pretty sure it's what it is. But yeah, the MV really feels like those um, AR scenes on Black Mamba. There's a lot of effects, like not CGI effects, it's more like video effects. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. mm, yeah, okay. Wow, that was kind of deep. As if following the shadow, which I thought it was coming after me, in a fate that cannot be changed, hope is fading away. So yeah, this is basically the downfall of them um, believing into something that they shouldn't actually believe because you, you always hope for something better, but in the end, it still won't matter. Uh, yeah, that's kind of like the idea of false hope though. I mean, it's one idea of false hope. It's not the general idea of it. Ooh. I could not stop, like, the build-up. Oh! -hoo -hoo! That I want to see a performance video of this one though. Everything is plausible lie overshadowed by sweetness. We all know how that feels, okay? Every single person in this world would actually know what this feels. <laughs> I, I could relate, I know. Oh, <laughs> Sion though. I could not stop talking about Sion because she's just... Uh, I love her so much. Sophia. 
what was the last one? in the end the dream catchers couldn't find the utopia what they dreamed of so yeah um i'm pretty sure it's what it meant and it's a lot more uh i mean i know i've been banging my head for so much in this video but knowing how the song is and what it means it's actually a bit sad to uh like to hear the song and i think that they've really given a great representation of it in this song alone i mean yeah sure there are so many aggressive moments in it but in the end it's it kind of feels like it punches hard enough for you to feel how they felt i mean if you do get those false hope you would feel the anger the suddenness of everything in your um, emotions and i think it is what is being displayed over here which i absolutely love i would say though i would prefer the visual aesthetic of Boca. maybe i'm a bit biased in it because i've loved those rain scenes from step up back before and I think in Boca, it perfectly worked for what it is. It was simple enough, and I totally loved the Boca MV. This one, I, I am. I mean, I'm okay with the MV. Okay is an understatement. I feel like the MV was awesome. Um, it's just not as memorable as Boca for me. But the song is a different story, and I feel like even if the song does not have a harder punch than Boca did. The meaning alone is what works for me, and the song itself is absolutely amazing. I would want to see a performance video from them, though, because that chorus choreography, I really want to see that firsthand, okay? I really want to see it without all those CGI and all those storylines. I mean, the storyline was good. Uh, storyline visuals was good. But I want to see the per per performance, okay? The performance is what I'm going to be looking forward to uh, other than the IU um, comeback, which will be by tomorrow. So, going to be busy again. <laughs> but yeah, Dreamcatcher's Odd Eye. Have you seen the MV? Have you loved the MV as much as I did? I, I myself, I'm sure I'm going to be putting this on my playlist. I mean, look at this. It's already liked. <laughs> what more could you ask for? So yeah, I will be putting this on my playlist and would definitely um, destroy the replay button on this song really looking forward as to where they would be taking this storyline or if this is gonna be the end for me this is a downfall but it this it is still not the climax i think they could still put something more for the next comeback but i'm really glad with this and the hype was worth it and i hope that you guys stream the song itself so yeah if you like my reaction, please click the like button down below. And if you're new to my channel, please subscribe. Uh, it would really help me in knowing that people are looking forward for my content. And also, you can share this with your friends because it will go a long way. If you don't like you know, sharing, you can just like and comment because it will also help me in YouTube's algorithm of recommending this video to newer audiences so that our community would start getting a lot larger than it used to. But yeah, thank you so much for the support and I will see you on my next video. Oshi out.